Ezra Pound, American expatriate poet and critic, said that the image is more than an idea. It is a vortex or cluster of fused ideas and is endowed with energy. I have no idea that what that means, but I'd sure like to read a book about it. And I am Evo Terra. And this is the Books and Beer Hangout. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of the Books and Beer Hangout. My name is Jeff Moriarty, and our topic tonight are book covers, something that people tend to really underestimate when they're putting their first book together. Our guest today is Rose Gonsolin, a first-time author, and she's going to share with us the epic tale of intrigue and adventure that she went through in putting her first book together. So, uh, Rose, introduce yourself and tell us what you're drinking. Well, uh, thank you for inviting me, and I am drinking a beer that our neighbor gave us. I have no idea what it is, but it's from Wisconsin. And <laughs> mining Kugel. <laughs> yeah, he says it's special. So anyway, um, yeah, the book cover, I had a novel that was kind of a cross-gender, no, cross-genre. Anyway, and it was romantic suspense, and so I had a tough time trying to fix on what was the symbol I wanted, what I was looking for to convey in the cover. And I made the mistake of asking my nephew to work on it for me. Well, that wasted about three months. Okay, you, you, you hold on a sec. We're going to get into that. Just finish introducing yourself first. Okay. Anything I'm, else you want to say about you? I'm a first-time author. <laughs> All right. Evo, what are you drinking tonight? Well, in celebration of my return from Colorado, I am drinking a lovely nitro milk stout from Left Hand Brewing. I don't, what I got to tour it was an amazing place, um, and uh, they have beer there. It's great. I am moderately to extremely jealous, a very fine choice. I am working this evening through my stash of Hop Slam. Call. One of my favorite times of the year, that Hop Slammy flavor is in the air. So now, Rose, we're going to get into okay. it. So the first question for you, when you were getting into this, you finished writing, what did you expect the book cover process to be like? Something really easy, and it wasn't. Okay. What did you think you would have to do? Just whip something together? Yeah, I just thought that I'd find, like I'd call my nephew and say, hey, look, this is what I'm looking for. Give me something, and I'll pay you a couple of bucks. And it was not a good idea to do that. And then I contacted some other um, artists, and I realized that that wasn't going to work. And then I came up with my own idea. And so I decided that I wanted to do something with lips, and a sign for the men's room because the name of the title is outside the men's room. So I went and got some pink uh, lips. All right, hold on, a, hold on. So let me get that. Let me get that book cover up so you can kind of take us through this here. Okay. So this is your first book cover that we're going to be right. sharing out. So who who so, did this book cover, Rose? Where, where did this come from? Well, this was me going to the drugstore and buying some pink lipstick and then making out with a white piece of paper for about an hour. And then wow. I came up with these little lips. Hold on, let me I, shift over to you. Okay, show, show us your, your makeout session results. Yeah, okay, so those are my lips. And then I found that sign on, uh, you know, and I like that image. So I had to, had to flip it. Somebody recommended doing that. And then I put it out, and my husband did all this on Photoshop. And then I put it out on Kindle in the reviewer, and it looked really good. And the reason it looked good is because it had that white background and it, the Kindle reviewer has that midnight blue background and it really popped. So I thought, man, I am cooking and I did this all by myself and I didn't really have to spend any money. Great. So I get it out and I submit, I get it into Amazon and I go look at the sales page and it looks awful. Because that's a white background. Yeah. Oh man. I mean, it looked terrible because Amazon is white. So I knew I couldn't do that. Well, I'd already tortured my husband a couple of, you know, 50 times doing remakes. And that's when he points out to me that maybe you really don't want lips right next to a sign for the men's room, that maybe you're going to attract the wrong kind of market. So it I thought, did sound a little odd when you said that, but I was going to let you roll a little bit. So he, he gave me a term that I didn't bother looking up. So anyway, so then I thought, so then he says, let me do one for you, Rose. I'll do one and I'll just, because I know what you're looking for. 
Okay. And so, so now your husband. Is, I mean, but so so Jeff's going to put it up in a second here. So so your husband, the uh, the professional graphics designer husband no. you're married to, made this. No, not that's not about the case. This, at all? The the very irritated, you know, occasional user of Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> He's the one who did it. So okay. this is this is his product. Let's see it, Jeff. So let's click on that one. Okay, now obviously, in, in my opinion, significantly better. We've we've lost the lips, but but tell us tell us what you think about this. Well, it's okay. I mean, it gets the point across about that it really stands out. You can read the title mm -hmm. on Amazon as a thumbprint. the The colors are pretty good. It got the little images of the the um, bathroom images. Boys room, men's, yeah, women's room, yeah, right there. And we, and we had like a huge discussion on whether or not these should be next to outside or next to men's room. I mean, that's right. how detailed it got. So he so did now, that. So now let me, let me pause for a quick second. So what, what, what genre is the book in again? Well, it's romantic suspense. Yeah, this, so, this cover screams both romance and suspense. Yeah. That's the thing, is it didn't really say anything. And so I was getting near the end of thinking I was going to be finished with editing the book and that it was ready. And I'm thinking about marketing it. And I'm thinking about, okay, you want to be in a position where you're going to go talk to people and try to sell your book. And I hear myself saying, yes, here's my book. It's really good. And look at the cover. Oh, yeah, my husband did that. I don't really like it. But, yeah. you know, and I thought I cannot try to sell a book that I don't like the cover. All right. So, so then I, what did you do? Well, then I was at a free workshop, and mm -hmm. it was a... Um, I've got a quick question on this cover, though. How did it look as a thumbnail? So you originally... It looked great. It. it looked great as a thumbnail. In the, the colors sense, worked and everything mm -hmm. else? Yep, it, and it looked good on the white background with the Amazon sales page. That was the mm -hmm. key. And you could read it, and it does have a little suspense in the image, just not a whole lot, right. and it has no romance whatsoever. So, All right, so step three. Okay. This is the next one. I went to a workshop and mm -hmm. someone in their like little freebie goodie bag had listed a bunch of uh, like a half dozen cover artists, but also they had put in some little uh, business card size promos of their own books and the sure. book covers, the image was what I had in mind, oh. what I had been thinking about. So I went through all of the cover artists that um, that she had listed, and I found the one that did her book, and and so I contacted her, and really this is her first one that she did, um, mm -hmm. and I like the look, but I didn't like the image of the woman. I just thought that it was a little too severe, and so I probably wasn't as effective in describing what I was looking for, but sure. this. But the surprise is at how well she hit what I was looking for without so, really so did, did she ask it. you a bunch of questions? I mean, how did she figure out how to go? Was this her first? This was her first effort, but then you said, ah, that image is a little too sudden. And then she asked a lot of questions. Is that how it went? No, out? basically, what I what I wrote back and said, what I'm really looking for is a graphic design. And I should have said at the beginning, I'm looking for an illustration, ah. not a photograph. Right. And, and so that was the, the wording I should have used. I should have said illustration, not graphic design. So right. once I said illustration, then she sent me three images. She took that one and turned it into an illustration. And okay. then she did two other ones. And the final one, I never would have described it, but it's like, because I think she does this and she does it for that genre. And then I had, and then I had a reference that I could say, hey, you did it this way for this book. Um, and she knew, and so that's what really helped. So let's pop that that final cover up there, Jeff, and we'll see what that one looks like for the, this is it. This is the one that is there, right? Right. Excellent. So yeah, now, now we've done something very different. We've got a true illustration. Um, and how do, you, how do you feel about this cover, Rose? I really like it in... Does it hit the suspense part of the novel? No, but it does hit the romance and it has a fun feel to it and that's what I like. So yeah. I think so too. I think you you it goes romance without going bodice ripper, right? It's not, it's right. not which is easy to do. I mean, well, I guess it's easy to do because that's 
the only thing I see in the romance section. But yeah, this looks a lot more whimsical. It looks like it's fun. Um, yeah. And yeah, there's 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 something here that's kind of special, and I, I really like this one. I think I think I think she did a great job. Now now, who is this artist? Who who did the work? Her name is Char Adelsberger, and she must be a college student, and she's on a website that anybody can contact her and she not only did the ebook the thumbnail for me but she also did the print mm -hmm. spine and cover and back cover and I mean it was extremely reasonable um, and that was the thing when I would talk to regular artists who don't do book covers they were all looking for as though they were gonna paint you a painting and so the pricing is going to be much higher, whereas somebody who's been doing book covers, I found the pricing was better, and they understood what you were looking for. So uh, guesstimate for me, um, prior to contacting her, how many hours, how much time did you spend, or what was the duration like in terms of weeks? Did you spend working on a cover before you contacted her and got down to business? I think I started in April. And I got the final cover in late December. That's how long it took me. <clears throat> that's a that's quite the process to go through. And then obviously working with a with a pro saved you all sorts of uh, headaches. And, and and it seemed to work out really really well. It I think. did. Well, that's well, that's great. Wonderful thing. Okay, so in the process of working with her was a good, a good one. I mean, what what would you do? next time around would you work with her again would you find another graphic designer that was based on style um depending upon what i would be trying to publish and the image i would want yeah i would definitely use her um because i think she does i think she somehow or another is able to understand what you're looking for almost as if this were like her core skill area that she was yeah. an expert in Strange. Now, how does your husband feel about this? Is he is he going to want to compete for book cover number two, or is he pretty much been fired? <laughs> oh, do we really have to answer that one? <laughs> <laughs> let's let's try to preserve some semblance of uh, happiness in the relationship. <laughs> I'm sure he has lots of other wonderful skills he can contribute the next time around. All right. So uh, to, to wrap up, what would be your recommendations for an author who's looking to, to do a cover for their first book? What are your tips? Don't ask friends and family to do it. And don't try to go around and try to find some artist at a street fair or something. Try to network with some other authors and look at book covers and try to find somebody that knows what you're looking for. And there are a lot of book cover artists out there. Um, the best thing is if you can find a book that the cover, you really like that style and that's similar to what you're looking for, then you can just find out who did it. Sounds like really solid advice. Well, thank you very much, Rose, for being on the show with us today. And for uh, we'll, we'll make sure we have links uh, on our website with all of the information she mentioned as well as that artist's name so that you can check that person out as well. And also, Rose, as we mentioned, was a student of ours here at ePublish Unum. If you want to learn the kinds of things we taught her, well, yeah, we can actually do that for you. In fact, you can sign up for classes on our website that will help you move from writer to published author uh, in four short weeks. So check it out. Really, you can. The Books and Beer Hangout is a production of ePublish Unum. We help authors survive and thrive in a digital world. For more information about classes and all the stuff that we do, you can find that at epublishunum.com. Thanks for watching the show.